Hey guys. So today I'm here to talk about an internship opportunity. It's not actually an internship opportunity, mostly an, an association that offers internships for students from any, any country. So this association is called IAEST, International Association for the Exchange of Students for Technical Experience. So it's a nonprofit association where you can just go and apply for the internship you are interested in. So what you need to know is that your country might be a member country or it might not. So depending on that, your um you would have to to do something different to, to get an internship. So if your country is already a member country, you would have to visit your country's association to make sure what the requirements are in your country. But if your country is not a member country, you would apply as a, like, you would apply by yourself, but you would of course have to pay a certain fee to have access to any internship opportunity. So this fee, I think it depends on on the. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it depends on the country. You just have to visit the website to make sure. So, first, let's say you you're looking forward to to see what's available at that moment. You can either choose a remote internship or an on-site internship. So for a remote internship, you can do it from home. And on-site, you would have to travel to do it. All of these internships are paid, just so you know. I mean, the, the on-site one. OK, so here you have the filters. You can filter by discipline, languages, and location. You can choose, let's say, if you are, for example, an engineer student. So you choose everything engineering related, um, mechanical engineering, engineering, civil engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, chemistry engineering. OK, so everything engineering, you just choose. All right. And then the language. So if you want the internship to be in English, in German, in Spanish, I think that's the three options you have here. And then the location. So if you want a specific country, or if you just want to see what's available, you just leave it blank and then you put find an internship. Okay. So they chose seven out of 22. Is, is that right? Okay, here. So they offered you the one that that goes with the the filters you chose. So there's eight internships available, not seven, eight. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's say this one, which is in Brazil, is the one you you want to have more information about. So here already you can see, you would have to do this internship between January 17, 2022 and August, no, is it August? June 30th, 2022, okay? Between eight to 16 weeks, depending on what you choose to do. And the salary per month is right there. The field of study you have to be in to, to, to have access to that internship is engineering, marketing, management, and stuff like that. So to have more information, you click on the internship. And then it gives you more details about the requirements. So here, you, you need to, com to have completed two years of study and your English level should be good. 
B1, B2. Other requirements, there's no other requirement. You would have to, like we said before, eight to 16 weeks within this, these dates. And the gross pay here, working hours is 30, 30 hours per week or six hours per day. And there's no holidays. Here they tell you if there's a certain type of accommodation, so living lodging, the cost of lodging, and the cost of living, so that you can have an idea. Okay. So if you, you look at the requirement, you, you look at the, the work offered, the work this description, and then you see that, okay, this one, and uh, you interested in it, there's a part here called how to apply that gives you more information about the application process. So here, the step one that you just, you just did here is to find an internship. So you just search the internship. Step two is to get in contact with the committee. If you have, if your country is, is a member country, like we said, you, you need to get in contact with the national committee that will guide you through the application process. If not, then you would be in contact directly to the um, with IST, International Committee. And then the third step. So um, when they accept you, when IST committee accept you, the third step is to be accepted by the employer. So when IST accepts you, they're gonna share your application with the employer. So if the employer choose to have you in this internship, then you go on your dream internship. So here you have the register button here that gives you access to the platform where you would have to, to apply. And then here, they, they, they remind you if the country you are in is not a member country, you would make sure to select non-member country in the field below if, if it's not in the list. So you just put the information related to you, your first name, your last name, your email, how you heard about them, you would submit. And then, and then they would, um, they would uh, give you access to, to some other information that you would need to give. For example, your curriculum vitae or your, your motivation letter, the payment, the payment fee that I was talking about before um, and other things they, they need from you. So basically that's it for the application process of, for um, IST's internships. I hope it was useful. I hope you can use it to apply to an internship. I hope you find an internship and you enjoy it. You'll learn from it. All right, bye.